Our next stop on the WYSIWYG toolbar is insert edit image. And I've got a clean standard content page here. Let me take that and delete this stuff out. And it is the button here that's a uh, picture. It looks like uh, mountains with a moon, or perhaps it's mountains with the sun. Either way, it's mountains with something orbiting. And we want to insert an image on this page. So what we do is we click Insert Edit Image. And you can see it's very similar to the uh, Insert Edit Link options. We have a source where we set up a dependency link for the image. We find it in our directory structure here. And I've got one, sort of a history of Wushok image. I got saved in here. Maybe I want to use that. Woo through the ages. Insert. Uh, next on here is alternative description. It's very important to fill that out because it is the alt text for the image to uh, relay the information as to what the image is to the uh, users using screen readers. Um, a lot of images that are generated in the system will have an alternative description, something like placeholder or file name. Those are actually an accessibility error that the system won't usually pick those up. So you always want to go through and give a proper alternative description. Uh, alternate description should be description of what's going on in the image as well as what's in the image. In this case, I know it's a, a graphic representation of the history of the Wushok uh, character. So I can go series of cartoon images illustrating the evolution of the Wushok mascot over the years. And that might actually be a little bit simplistic because um, properly it probably should say what the differences are between the different versions. Um, so it would be a good thing, but that's a good thing for our demonstration right now. I can set the width and height to what I want it to be. And I'm okay with where it is. So I click save. And now I have an image on the page. So maybe I want uh, to insert some text along with it. And I'll just grab some copy pasted Latin stuff I have here. And you can see that, oh, it doesn't word wrap and it looks kind of goofy. And if you bring it back up, the image is actually on the same line in consideration as the text. And so, it, it looks pretty ugly. So can we word wrap this text? The answer to that is yes. The, re, the way we would word wrap it is we select the image and go back into insert edit image again. And we want the advanced options. So you'll see that there's a style preview box right here. That's sort of meant to relate uh, the correlation between the image and the text you have on the page. This isn't quite the same because our text is coming off the same line, but it's reasonably close. Uh, so what we want to do is set the alignment first. And it has a number of options here. Uh, left, right, and probably center, or probably what you're going to want to use the most. I'm going to set left. And see how that immediately changed. Basically, that image is now anchored on the page as an image. So everything's going to work around it. Uh, vertical space and horizontal space are the space on the edges of the image on the bottom and on the right side. So you can set your spacing. And we might set vertical space to 5 pixels, horizontal space to 10. And see how our preview has kind of changed. It looks a little more like what we would probably want it to. Uh, border style, it's a white image, white background image on a white page. So maybe we want that to be a little more called out. We have a number of different border styles in here. I'll select solid and I'll give it a border with the two pixels. Click save. And now we've got a word wrap around our image. If I save and publish it. go over to my live page and refresh it. There we go. If we'd have set it center, it would have centered it. If we'd set it right, it would have justified around like that. 
And that's how you do a word wrap around an image.